It was the passing out parade of 11,730 recruits at the National Youth Service at their training college in Gilgil. A demonstration of advancement recorded within the service over the past years. Speaking at the ceremony, President Uhuru Kenyatta commended the institution's new governing council for strengthening management system which have led to improved financial controls, oversight and supervision of the service. I take this very early opportunity to congratulate all the graduates for successfully completing the first phase of your training. Since its establishment, the National Youth Service has nurtured over 220,000 servicemen and women in skills and knowledge, and more importantly, in attitudes that have enabled them to improve their lives, while at the same time contributing meaningfully to our society. They are now prepared to transit to the next phase of national service, where they will give back to the community by participating in projects of national importance before joining vocational training. Your Excellency, sir, I can authoritatively report that this phase has transformed the mindset of these young men and women. Their perception of life has changed. This even as he congratulated the NYS management for partnering with other government agencies to establish the second largest potato seeds production unit in Africa at the institution's Tumaini Field Unit in Nyandarwa County, saying it will enable Kenyan farmers to access certified seeds easily and at a reasonable price, thus contributing towards the achievement of food security pillar of the Big Four agenda. <laughs> He called on the institute to take a more proactive role in the national rollout of universal health coverage, especially the training of health cadets which is being administered by the Ministry of Health and AMREF. To secure the gains made under this transformative program on health care, today I do direct the Ministries of Health and the State Department of Youth to ensure that once these young men and women have served they are one year. These NYS community health cadets should undertake further training at the Kenya Medical Training College based on their academic qualifications and areas of interest. The president reiterated government commitment to continue rolling out and supporting initiatives aimed at generating employment and wealth for the youth. Your Excellency, I'm pleased to inform you that your focus and investment in the youth development has delivered positive impact that has been acknowledged regionally and globally. As a country, Your Excellency, we are aware much more needs to be done to provide opportunities for the youth to reach their full potential. Public Service Cabinet Secretary Professor Margaret Cobia said the new NYS Management Council is undertaking reforms to align the institute with the government's development priorities including Big Four Agenda and Vision 2030. We now have, Your Excellency, a National Youth Service Council that provides oversight to the management and ensures that the mandate and the functions of National Youth Service are aligned within the government, development priorities, and the big four 